guys, known as Princess Aspin, and welcome to my channel. So today's video is a very, very, very highly requested video of doing a reaction video to Little Mix's new album. Before we get started though, okay, first off, before I get started on anything, there has been a lot going on today and a lot has gone in to make this video happen. Oh, uh, you know what? <sighs> okay, so, long story short, I had started filming this video about two and a half hours ago, and I heard the opening chord of their first song. I had started filming this video, and then I got so excited when I heard one of the previews of Strip when Spotify came up, and I got so hecking excited that I tripped over my tripod and I broke my camera into a million pieces. It was just catastrophe going left, right and center. It was literally all over the place. I tripped over the cord of one of my light boxes, which is currently covering my beautiful, sweet baby Angel Perry's face. It doesn't mean to. That's just the setup that we have going on here, okay? So I tripped over one of the many cords that we have got on the ground at the moment. That cord made one of the light boxes fell over, which then fell on top of one of the other light boxes, which then fell on top of something else, which then fell on top of my tripod, which then made my camera go crashing to the ground, and I, the, the squeal, the scream that left my lips literally sounded like something from sort of like a horror movie. It, I, oh, mm. And I was like praying to God. I was praying to Jesus. I was praying to the Holy Spirit. And I was like, please, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, please let this camera not be broken. And I looked at it and I was like, oh, that's okay. There's a little bit hanging off here and there, but like surely that's not gonna do anything. I tried to turn it on. And the whole screen is just all over the place. So, um, yeah. But you know what? We're fine. We're good. I'm using the camera that I used to do photography with. And the camera is very far away from me. And it is near nothing that can make it crash. Honestly, with my luck, the whole roof will fall down and break it or something. I don't know. <sighs> Thank you for listening to my little mental breakdown. Who wants to hear some music? Yay! <laughs> okay, no. So in all seriousness... <laughs> In all seriousness, I, I literally cannot say in all seriousness when I literally just had like a three minute mental breakdown on the internet about my camera breaking. No, you know what? We're fine. We're doing good. We're fine. Everything is handy dandy. It is currently the 16th of November 2018, which means that Little Mix has just released their new album, their fifth album, which they have called LM5. I really don't know how I feel about that name. Anyone that's stan culture knows that anytime that a new artist is about to release an album, we call it like the initials of their name slash their band name and then the number of whatever album it is. Harry's album was like HS1 and then he just called it Harry Styles and we we're like, cool. Niall's new album is like NH2. Little Mix's album like LM5 and we've all been waiting for the new name. We've all been waiting for what the new name is gonna be. And then they released and like, you guys have been calling it LM5 so we decided to call it that too. We're all just kind of like, ah, oh, that was a bit anticlimactic, but there we go. But it's actually really cool so like I think it's a good title. So LM5 came out at midnight in every single country and again thank god I am Australian. Thank god I am Australian because you know what we might have really really bad internet. We might be in the middle of nowhere. We might have murderous animals that try to kill us at every single turn and corner but we get our albums earlier than everyone else except New Zealand. <laughs> so while the rest of the world is still waiting for it to come out I'm able to listen to it <laughs> All right, LM5 Deluxe. I am so excited. All right, I think we just go for it. Yeah, yeah, let's just go for it. All right, we're just gonna go for it. Yeah? Yes. Okay, the first song I'm living for the pun in this is called The National Mantham. All right, let's get it, girls. incredible that was so beautiful like the words of it were kind of like yes and then like the actual tune of it was kind of like yes you know what I mean like it was whoa I mm, okay oh yeah Woo! little mix are slaying with their vocals and we are 30 seconds in all right the first I guess proper actual full length song the album is woman like me yes I've heard it a million times before yes it's the only thing that I've been listening to recently yes I have already reacted to it am I going to be listening to it again and reacting to it again anyway yes <laughs> I 
I still love that. That is the that is my favorite lyric ever. Find you fail for a woman like me. Ah, I love that song. That song is so incredible. It's so good. Also, I know I've already said this in the video beforehand, but I am so proud of them for finally collaborating with Nikki. They have literally wanted to do that since the start of their career. They literally sang her song on X Factor. Every single interview they asked, which artist would you like to collaborate with? And they always say Nikki, and now they're collaborating with her, and I'm so proud of them. <sighs> wow, we are literally one song in, and I've literally heard only the first song, which I've already heard before, and I'm literally not okay. <laughs> let's go on to the next song, which is called Think About Us. Um, I don't know, I think let's just go into it. Yeah, let's do, okay, all right. We're just gonna go into it, let's do it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. This is cool. It's kind of like. This is really good. I'm vibing this. Okay. Oh, that was cool. Like, it looks. I love this. Oh my god, vocals are killing. Oh, that high harmony. Yes! Okay. I feel like this is where it happens. This is so good. Oh my god. I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. Oh, the high notes! Heck yeah! I, that, I, oh, that, what? Oh my, what? Oh my god, that was so good. That was so good. That was so good. That was like, oh my, okay. I like, oh my, okay. Imagine them actually that live. Imagine at the LM5 shows, and they're actually singing that. Oh my god, the dance routine to that is going to be so good. It's kind of like Secret Love Song, but like boppy, you know? It's like really like, it's actually not like Secret Love Song. Oh, I don't know why I said that. But you know what I mean? Like it's really like, it's really like, it's got like, uh, but then it's also got like, uh. the next one is Strip. I am so excited about this one. The girls have been promoting this one like crazy. I've seen snippets for like the videos that they have, and it just sounds like a really cool song, and I'm really excited about it. All right, let's do it. Cause I love what's under it. Rubber for your words, don't give Yes, queens! That's oh my god, I love this already. Take off all my makeup. Oh my god, I love this! Yes, queens! Snap that racism! Yes, girls! Okay! Yes, get that rap! Yes, queen! Guys! Okay, that's- I, I- oh my god, I love that song. That's gonna make me cry, but like not, because it's like, um, what? Oh my- ah! Uh, I love that. I love how raw and real and honest it is, but it's also kind of groovy and kind of boppy. Like, so many songs that you hear about like confidence, about like being yourself, and about like loving yourself and all that, they're kind of like very like slow, pretty, soft, almost sadish vibes. And they're very sentimental songs, and they're songs that are very like slow and gentle and pretty, and lots of beautiful instrumentals and stuff, and like violins and like acoustic guitars and pianos and all that. And they're all like really soft, pretty, beautiful songs that like you want to cry when you sing to. You know what I mean? And this song is very, it's really raw and real and honest. And I just think that, I don't know, the words are really, really, really cool. I just love that. I don't know, man. It's just really good. Also, I don't know if you guys have seen, but on social media, all of the girls have been posting the lyrics to this and then also posting things about their own body, which other people have made them feel bad and insecure about and then saying that actually that's what they love about themselves and that they're happy that that's the skin that they're in and I just think that's really 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 cool that this huge girl band that has got a really 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 big following and a lot of young people that look up to them I just think it's really cool that these girls are talking about themselves like that and I know it's are showing their insecurities and and encouraging other girls to show their insecurities and then change those insecurities and then turn them around into good things you know what I mean I feel like and show them that like hey I'm actually proud of this and I'm happy with the skin I'm in I don't know if you guys saw the big billboard that they had as well well, where they all had like all the words all over them and that got a lot of hate on it and that got a lot of really like negative comments on it. So many people like, oh, this is a really bad role model because you're naked and it's like, you know what? No, screw that. That's not a bad role model. They're literally doing the opposite of that. They're literally showing girls, hey, this is the body I'm in and I'm happy with it and I'm proud of it and I'm confident in it. And I think it's so, so cool because I feel like so many people can relate to at least one of the girls. I know that I can relate to Jade so, so, so much because she went through a lot of her life with an eating disorder and so did I and I just think it's really cool to see this really strong beautiful independent woman standing up there and going hey I went through this and this is the skin I'm in now and I'm learning to love myself because of that I'm so 
excited to hear that live and not necessarily like oh I can't wait to hear the vocals live and I can't wait to see their performance live I'm just so excited to see four women standing up there and being so empowered about their own bodies and then seeing an entire auditorium an entire stadium full of young girls and boys all screaming out the words too even if you don't feel it saying these words out loud and singing these words out loud even if they are just lyrics it, it gives you that confidence. It gives you something, even if you don't feel like you have it, it gives you something. And I just think it's gonna be so, so cool hearing hundreds of thousands of people all singing these words together. And I don't know, man, it's just really cool and I love it. And we're gonna move on to the next one because I don't want this turned into an inspirational TED talk. All right, so the next song is Monster and Me. I'm really excited, let's go. Ooh! Okay, vocals are slaying already. Vocals are slaying. Oh, this is so pretty. This is so different than what I expected already. This is so good. Okay. Okay, I love this. Oh my god, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. Oh, Perry. Oh my god, the high note. Perry, get it, Queen! Okay, that was so good. Also, Perry sounds like 2012 Perry again. Am I the only one that thinks that? Perry literally sounds like the way she did in 2012. Am I the only one that thinks that? Woo! Okay, this is so good. This is so freaking good. Oh, okay. Yes, queen! Heck yeah, you do, girl! <laughs> she just said I'm standing myself. Oh my god, I love when I'm excuse pop code. Wait, I'm missing the chorus. Oh my god, what a vibe, what a vibe! Yes, this is so good! Yes, that was such a bop! All right, let's go to Lover Girl Right. Okay, Mr. Lover Boy, come through. Okay! Oh, that high note! Yes, girls, teach young girls about positive relationships! Woo, this album is just bop after bop! Whoa, that high note! I swear, these girls do like a crazy high note in every single song they do, and each time it leads me shook to the core, my wig is snatched. Ooh, okay, yeah! We love an acoustic guitar. Ooh, okay, I like this. Okay, I like this. Oh! Their stripped back vocals are so beautiful. Okay, this is so pretty. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh, they're, oh, they're so beautiful. Oh my god, their voices. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, their voices are so pretty. So pretty. This is so pretty. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, I love this. I'm just sitting here, minding my own business, listening to their pretty vocals, to the pretty things, and then they just come along and BAM come out with that vocal and it just leads me shook on the ground wiggless. Oh, okay! What the heck? Oh my god, what a bop! What a bop! What a bop! Okay, that just changed. Okay, okay, that changed. Oh my god, this whole song is just shade, shade, shade. Oh, oh, we love Shady Queen. Spill the tea, girls. Okay, this entire track is just full shade at the sun. I love this. I love this. Okay, cool. Oh, what a bop. Why did this kind of remind me of DNA? I don't know, like it's kind of like a real like, you know, uh, song, you know? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that little note. Oh. oh, piano song. This is gonna be a sad song. Is this gonna be a sad song? I'm gonna cry. I have no time for sadness today. This is gonna be a sad song. Okay, I'm gonna cry. This is my new favorite already. I oh my god, I love this. Oh my god, I love this. 
love this. Oh my god, I love this song. Oh my god, why am I crying? Oh my god, I love this song. I love this song. Oh, Perry's little Dave Husky voice. That wasn't little at all. Oh my god, I love this. Oh my god, I love when they do ballads. Oh my god, I love their power ballads so much. And this one's so pretty and it's got so much meaning in it. Oh my god, I love this song. So oh my god, okay, this is my new favorite. Like, this is literally my favorite song I've ever done ever. I no, actually, oh, I know, I really like these four walls and I really like Little Me. And okay, this is my favorite song in this album. This is my favorite song in this album. This is up there with my favorite songs ever. Again, it's kind of similar to Strip. I feel like this is like the first part of Strip. They're talking about their dark states of mind and they're talking about the things that they're going through and the things that they've been through. And you know, the, like, the thing is, it's not even like a pretty lyrical song that they've written because maybe it will relate to someone. They've written this because like it relates to themselves and they've been through so much and I don't know how many of you are mixes and I'm assuming if you've made it to this part of the video you probably are. You probably just care a little bit about them or maybe you like seeing me make a fool out of myself on the internet. They've been through so much especially this year. They've changed labels which thank god I am so thankful that they've changed labels. Oh my god. But anyway they've changed labels and like they've just like gone through so much and they're talking about what they've been through and they're talking about no matter what you've been through and no matter what you're going through no matter what has happened in your past you can shape the way for your own future and you can be your own cure and I just oh my god like the happiness was always inside me but lord it took me a minute to find it that is the most beautiful lyric man I'm putting all my troubles behind me I only need my heart to guide me what oh my god oh name a better group who's got the same vocal power and lyrical power as they do oh I'll wait I mean, we waited for a long time because it doesn't exist. Oh, okay. I need a more uplifting song. I need to get like the vibes back, you know? Whew, okay. I'm a, I'm literally, I'm sweating from my eye sockets. Okay, we got a bit of groove in this one. They've all been a groove. Let's, let's be real. Okay, this one's called Woman's World and I can already tell this is going to be a feminist anthem and I am here for it. Oh no, it's gonna be a power ballad too that I'm gonna cry with. Oh my gosh. Okay, I came here for a good time. I came here expecting this to be like an absolute banger of a song, maybe a power ballad. I was expecting it to be something like real like empowering and real like heck yeah, like women are the best, heck yeah, we're good. Like, I don't know, like so many of their other songs which are real like, you know, women warrior songs. I came here for a good time and I'm honestly just feeling so attacked right now. Actually, no, you know what? I'm not feeling attacked right now. I'm feeling heard right now. These girls have done something that's so controversial. They've brought up a real topic that is actually a real genuine issue in today's society and they have turned it into a ballad. That is incredible. That's power, man. Whoa. Guys, this is the best song ever. This is so good. This is such an empowering feminist anthem. What the heck? This song talks about issues which no one would talk about before, which no one would actually put on an album, which no one would actually put with a beautiful melodic song. This is like real proper issues that are really happening and real proper things that are happening in today's society and they've actually done something about, they're actually, oh, wow, I stand Little Mix so hard. This song is so good. It talks about unequal payment. It talks about expectations that women should conform to, like about the way we dress, our behavior, all of that sort of stuff. It talks about women's opinions and not being valued or as equal as men's opinions. And then not only does it do all that, it's not talking about us like we're the victims. It's not talking about us like, oh, like the world needs to change and like people need to do something about it. It's talking about we're doing something about it right now, right here. We're the ones that are doing something about it. We're the ones that can make the change. It empowers women to make a change. It actually empowers women to make a change out of the society we're living in. <laughs> oh, okay. So I've just had a look at the next song I'm listening to. Um, and it's the cure again, but the stripped down version. So if y'all thought I was a mess the first time I heard it, wait until I hear the acoustic stripped back version. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an honor filming for you tonight. Made my mistakes Gonna find a way to make it easy I'll be better on my own beliefs Not anymore Cause the tears fell down But they don't anymore I was a little messed up But I'm not anymore I'm not anymore I was a little far gone But I'm not So right now Very messed up But I'm not anymore I was a little locked up Right now Baby I got the cure That was so good Oh my god I'm so I am so happy. Whoever made the executive decision for them to put an acoustic version of The Cure on their album, 
You deserve a pay rise. Oh, I imagine them singing that in their concert and they're all just gonna be, there won't even be any choreography. It'll just be all of them saying in a straight line and they're just singing it. And look, honestly, to be honest, Dread will probably start crying or something. Like, I, oh, I don't know, like it, oh. I'ma be sobbing me heart out. I gotta get Barricade for this concert. And honestly, it's not cause I wanna be close to them. It's because if I don't have Barricade, I'ma just collapse in front of everyone. So the Barricade's gotta keep me up. All right. We have been on a journey. There is 18 songs on this album and we are on the last song. This has been a journey. This has been an emotional roller coaster. Okay, so the last song is Only You and they've had this song out for a while. It's the last song on their album, but I have no other lyrics to it. It's a good song. It's a banger of a song. Good song to finish it off. All right, let's do it. In the places that we met, when the streets will call you name. Okay, <laughs> what a journey. What an experience. Give me a minute, I need to, I don't know, CPR or heart transplants or like something. Little Mix 5 is the best album I have ever heard. That was such a roller coaster. There's so many bops and there's so many bangers and so many like group songs and there's so many like sad songs and there's so many like empowering songs. And I'm just, whew. I need a minute to like control my emotions. I am so, so excited for the concert. I cannot wait to be there and be listening to it all and listening to these four girls singing and listen to the whole crowd singing the songs back to them. I'm so proud of them. That's it, that's the video. Um, If you stayed around this long, Wow, thank you, I'm kind of sorry. <laughs> if you guys do like reaction videos, if you guys do like to see this sort of thing, do let me know and I can do some more for you. I know that Louis got his song coming out sometime this month and I'm going to literally freak out about that. I don't even know if we'll be able to move a reaction video to that. Nothing to do with my camera, nothing to do with like, oh, I might be somewhere. Literally just because the entire, entire video would just be me crying my eyes out. So, I don't know, let me know if you want to see that. <laughs> if you guys did like that video, make sure to let me know. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I don't know, do whatever makes you feel good. Do whatever makes you feel happy. Also, let me know down in the comments below which was your favorite song on the album. I think The Cure and Women's World are definitely my two favorite songs. I just think they're so amazing. They're so good. They're such empowering songs. Also, Strip. Also, Wasabi. I can't choose. They're all really, really good. <laughs> anyway, that was the video for this week, guys. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>